This is Métis Week, and I'm very proud to acknowledge it with an announcement of government backing uh, for Willow Lake Métis Nation and Fort Mackay Métis Nation as they raise their voices to defend their right to a prosperous future. Speaking truth to power is a necessity for free, open, and democratic nations. Uh, but still we find that too many voices are being discounted. That's one of the reasons I'm proud to announce that both of these nations will be the next recipients of funding from the Indigenous Litigation Fund grant. We set up this program with $10 million in funding uh, to support Indigenous groups and coalitions to have an equal say before the courts in the fight uh, for market access and responsible, environmentally responsible resource development. We took this approach because the vast majority of uh, Indigenous groups, of, uh, in, of nations, are pro-responsible development. But too often those voices have been forgotten, ignored, and sidelined in the debate about resource development in Canada. This grant will provide more than $372,000 to the Willow Lake Métis Nation and Fort Mackay Métis Nation to help them in their legal fight against the federal oiler Tanker Moratorium Act, also known as Bill C-48. With that act, in the last parliament, the federal government denied these two communities access to markets that would create tremendous prosperity for their people and for their neighbors, for all Albertans. It takes away a majority, uh, sorry, sorry a, ma a major opportunity that would ensure economic security and ena would enable them to help preserve the Métis way of life. Banning the transport of bitumen from Canada's northwest coast is very simply a prejudicial attack on Alberta and its vital economic interests. It is the first time in Canadian history that the federal government has banned the, the export of one particular product, in this case, a product that is only produced in Alberta and almost completely produced in our northeast, uh, in the Wood Buffalo region, in the region of these two Métis nations. While the federal government provides programming such as education, health care, and other services for Indigenous peoples across this country, we have had to provide these services ourselves. Our businesses, our business ventures, our economic opportunity have provided a form of equality for our nation. Equality between our nation and other Indigenous peoples and have provided equality where the federal government has not. Bill C-48 constrains Alberta's ability to access international markets, which in turn negatively impacts our economy, our prosperity, and our ability to provide, protect, and progress our people. Economic reconciliation will be the path forward. We do not need Ottawa to send us money to be able to achieve reconciliation. We need Ottawa to form legislation that allows us to be successful, that eliminates barriers, not puts more in place. As Métis and Indigenous people, we have faced barriers from governments throughout generations. This legislation is just another barrier that we now have to overcome. 